good morning and welcome back to my channel well it is morning for me it is actually 7 24 a.m today is the day that i wanted to vlog because we're doing our rock cycle starburst lab but i do want to show y'all what the lab actually looks like and what the materials um are that's required for this lab and so i pretty much i want to set up before the kids get here the bell rings at 7 30 so i'm probably not going to have that much time honestly but i just want to show y'all what uh should be expected from this lab now here is the actual form that i printed out for them that way they can go along with the procedures and this is my first time doing this lab so i'm pretty much gonna have to like wing it as i go because i gotta find that sweet spot you know you know how teachers are like you know when you're when you're doing something new you try it for the first few classes and then you really get the hang of it in the next classes so that's pretty much what they're going to be doing for this lab and then over here i do have my materials so i basically had to buy some more starburst because i didn't know if it was going to be enough don't worry about those noodles that's my lunch <laughs> So um, pretty much what I plan on doing is just making sure that I distribute it well and have enough to have the knives that they're going to use to cut up their starburst, their starburst rock sediments and that we're going to actually create each type of rock. So just a little update, um, this is the end of my first period class. Um, it really didn't go that bad. I'm about to start my second period to actually uh, lining up out there now. I think I might record my second period. It's just, it'd be a lot going on with them. It, it'd be a lot, it'd be a lot. So I'm, I'm still debating, but it didn't go that bad. It's some things that I do wanna tweak, but for the most part, I'm, I think I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna it's gonna get better and better. Yes, call all three. Call all three. Okay. You can. Y'all look good. That's how it's supposed to look. Good. Did you cut all all three? That's good. That's good. So keep keep working with it. Like fold it. You can fold it if you want to and add that heat and pressure to it. That way you can make your metamorphic rock. All right, again, so how did we create this rock? We added heat and pressure. We added heat and pressure. And what kind of rock is this? Look, sit down. It's metamorphic rock. Good. So now you need to add your pressure to it. So press down on it. Yeah, press down on it. I mean, it's not bad. So, I told y'all, it's real. This is as real as it's going to get. I ran out of materials, so we're not going to be doing the lab today. Part of my classes are not. Only two did, which I'm really glad I recorded my last class because I didn't know I was going to run out. So, I had to improvise. But now, we're about to go ahead and go to lunch. And so I'm just going to, you know, record that part and see how this day goes because my class is acting like animals right now. So I'm probably going to have to turn up on them. Um, but I'll get back to y'all on the way there. Yeah. So after we came back from lunch, we actually came back to the class and I had to tell my kids that... We can't do lab today. You, you see, it says, it says Rock Cycle Starburst Lab, but we weren't able to do it. And so I let them know that, um, you know, I just gave them free time since, you know, we really don't have much to go over. I didn't want to punish them and give them extra work. So I told them that we will finish it tomorrow. Go ahead and pick back up tomorrow. But I just made a rookie mistake, you know, as first year teachers, you know, just 
just trying to figure things out. And it's crazy because I usually proportion everything right. But, I mean, I guess I just, you know, didn't think about the silverware part and the plates part. See, when you plan, you have to plan accordingly. Plan for the unexpected. Okay? So, um, right now, I'm on my planning. My whole team is on planning the whole sixth grade hall. After this point, it's fifth period. I have six periods in a day. So, my last class of the day, we're pretty much... Pretty much, pretty much chilling for the most part, getting my thoughts together, getting my mind right, because as teachers, you do have to, you know, prepare mentally for life. <laughs> so um, if you did something different with the Starburst Lab or if you did something different just to activate their uh, prior knowledge or engagement, please drop down below. I would love to hear it. I'd love to see how you do things. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll pick back up when I'm doing something different. <laughs> morning guys so it is actually wednesday wednesday morning um i'm on the way to work y'all y'all wouldn't believe this i um I, I just i'm not in no way shape or form trying to make this video negative or trying to make it out to be something that it ain't y'all I, I i cannot make this up um it's 7 19 and I usually leave for work around 7.20, I mean 6.20ish. And so, I, yeah, I, w I woke up late. Yeah, I woke up late. Yep, yep. I, I, I was up too late last night. It was, it's all on me. I take the full credit. It was all on me. I was up too late. Uh, I woke up at the right time, went to the bathroom, gave myself extra 30 minutes. 30 minutes turned into a whole hour. It takes me about 42 minutes to get to work. So I should be arriving at, I should be arriving at about 8.01, 8.01. So let's, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and go to work today. You know, cause the kids are going to be like, where you been, Ms. Hawkins? Where you been? So hopefully I can show you a little bit more of, you know, my interaction with the kids, but hey. This is as real as it's gonna get, y'all. It's as real as it's gonna get. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to work and then I will pick back up when I'm at the school. Okay. Okay, but I'm gonna put some cemetery. Okay. So make sure you're still looking at this. So what's next after that? We did this already, I think. Okay, so make sure you check it off so that way you're not doing repeating. And then y'all, who did the igneous? I did. Okay, so check that off. And I did sedimentary. Sedimentary. Right? And you just did metamorphic. So now y'all on the Venn diagram. Oh, good. Don't look bad. Don't look bad. Oh, good. That looks that looks good, y'all. I like the organization. So you're gonna add extra paper on YouTube. Okay, good. Your facts. See your facts. So weathering is when it breaks down into different pieces. Erosion is when it moves. And then the deposition is when it drops in a new location. All right? Take your candy out the wrapper and put it on your plate. Okay? Now, in order for our rock, in order for our starburst rock to uh, go through the process of weathering, what do you think that we have to do? Break it down. Break it down. So, what can we do to break it down? What utensil do you have? Good. Why not? So, you're going to have to share with your partner and cut it up into fours. I should be breaking it down. And this process is called the weathering process. Yeah, you use your strength. Use your strength. Okay? <laughs> Why are you looking like that, Jasmine? <laughs> Just use your strength, Fatima. You're strong. You're a strong young woman. Young lady. All right, so listen. As we go along, you have a lab sheet. So for number one, if we're breaking down the different starbursts, we're breaking down the pieces, and this is mimicking which process? Weathering. So for number one, it should be weathering on your paper. 
Because y'all just told me that we're breaking down these rocks. You your own stuff, break things on your dick. King, what's going on, man? What's what's going on? What are you talking about? What? That's see, he has three that he's using, and you have three that you're using. Focus, focus, so we can get through this. Yes, There you go. All right. So listen, raise your hand if you're still cutting. Oh yeah. No, not yet. Not yet. All right. So what's our next process? If we just went through weathering, you take all the pieces of your erosion. Oh. All right. So yes, take all the pieces. Y'all are talking. That's a problem. Y'all want the internet to see me yell at y'all? No. What do we call these weather pieces? Trench. Sediments. Good. We call them sediments. So go ahead and put them into a pile. What you're doing is you're moving all these pieces together in different. You're moving these different pieces together into a pile. So that movement process is called what? Erosion. Erosion. So if you're gonna create a sedimentary rock, you need to make sure that you press the sediments together. So with your hand, with your hand, press it together. Yes, press it together. You don't have to, you don't have to pressure, put pressure, just combine it together. It should look like how Alexis and Jasmine's look. Go ahead and get a close up of theirs. I did, I did, I did. So that's how it should look. I did all these. I did all these. I don't know what that is. It's all what did you just do with your rock? Push it together. Push it together. Push it together. Push it together. By pushing them and uh, pressing them together, right? So now your sediment should look layered. You should have different colored sediments on top of one another, right? Yes. That's how a sedimentary rock is formed. The sediments cement together. King, you about to get out. Why you, you, got, you got five seconds. I saw you on the corner of my eye. You got five seconds. So, the sediments should be combined together. And once they're combined together, cemented together, you should see the different layers form. What you're going to do is put your rock in the Ziploc bag and add heat and pressure. What, you tell me. Press it down with your hands. You can use your breath if you want. If you think your breath is hot enough, that's fine. Okay. So, go ahead and add heat and add pressure to your rock. Why are you doing this with your hands? I'm asking. Just asking. I ain't say you was wrong. Because we're adding friction. And friction adds what? Heat. Heat. Good. And the rock changes. So, remember, as you're adding your heat, you should be adding that pressure. I know what you're adding, bro. Too. So that's that's how it's supposed to look, Marvel. Like Y'all have a seat. Have a like seat. I'm coming around. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Y'all sit down. Jack, sit down. She, she told me to make sure y'all sit down. Okay. Sit down, Jack. Oh, this is my first time being back here. Oh, bubbly. Bubbles. So that's it melting. Yeah. And these children out here acting Where's Maria? Bad. She right here. Okay, I told her I got two for her. I need two more. Okay, Whose is this? Their names should be. Alicia, I want to give it to her. I'll give it to her. No. You're supposed to be blocked. Alicia. I blocked like four of them. Somebody ripped down my poster. I know y'all see this. Bad student. Oh, I like this one. It's fun. Why you touch my Starburst? <laughs> your dirty hands. There's Ariel's, Miss Hoggins. Miss Hoggins, you were my first teacher and then you wrote me up, so you moved on to my second teacher. But now you're my first teacher again because you're really fun. I didn't write you up. Ariel. Well, you said you were. You don't I was going to. Oh, I was going to. There should only word. be two people back here. That's why it's a train. Me? You're, you get handed, Mariah's getting them, she hands it to you, and then you hand it to me. Oh, what's up, baby? I like to take it away. Sorry, it's mine, guys. I hope it turns out fire. Oh, she's vlogging. I Why am. Why you got the, the thing on the floor? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm face it at Miss Hawkins. Alexis Thomas, you about to get Look at Rapunzel over here with her long hair. You can blow her face at Miss Hawkins. 
Dang, cause y'all acting like some ratchet kids. Like y'all ain't got no yeah, home training. Guys, look at this big old room, and then back there is my Santos room. ELA teacher, fire. When y'all got y'all plates, did y'all see any bubbles on y'all uh rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's stuck on the plate. You gonna have to prick it off with your uh knife. So if you want to oh. kind of get it off of your plate, you're going to have to probably go around the edge oh, no. I need a knife. Let me see the knife. Did get you put knife. your knife in your mouth in the knife? What? Whoo. Whoo, y'all. I am tired, okay? <laughs> I literally just got done reorganizing and cleaning up my classroom because those students we didn't really have enough time for them to clean up because i didn't really realize that time was going by so fast that lab literally takes up the whole entire class period so um in other classes i was able to kind of time it right but that class is already a short class period because that's my fifth period and they have lunch with me so I had to put the books up get candy wrappers put them away put the chromebooks up so i'm just just trying to breathe but i did have my students vlogging for me so that way i was able to kind of be more hands-on while they were getting different angles for y'all and so um they're excited actually to watch this and i'm excited to see how everything comes together as well so i'm on my planning and i'm about to relax i'm not gonna vlog my six period class because I feel like I got enough content. I don't want to keep redoing the same, you know, labs. So tomorrow, really, yeah, tomorrow they're doing the Rock Cycle Project. And so y'all got to see a little bit of both. Y'all got to see Rock Cycle. Y'all got to see the Starburst lab that they didn't get a chance to do yesterday. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. I mean, I would take y'all home with me, but that that's going to be boring. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I hope you all like content like this. If you want to see more, then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and make sure you share with a friend, with a friend and a friend, so that way they can like and share and, you know, subscribe to me as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.